So in this problem, we're told to sketch the region enclosed by the given curves, decide whether to integrate with respect to x or y, and then draw a typical approximating rectangle and label its height and width, then find the area of the region. So we're just going to skip ahead and basically uh, find the area of this region. And so we're going to do number 5. And so 5 tells us y is equal to e to the x, y equals x squared minus 1, x is equal to minus 1, and x equals 1. So the first thing that you should do to solve this problem is just graph your two functions. And so I went, and did, uh, went ahead and did this here with Desmos. You could probably use your graphing calculator, or you could just sketch it on your own. But this red curve right here is going to be e to the x, and then this blue curve is x squared minus 1. And so what we're trying to do is find the area between these two curves. And so what we're trying to do is find the area between x minus 1, so here, right? Minus 1 to 1, so to here. Right, because these are upper bound and lower bound. So we're trying to find the area between these two, so this shaded region right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you want to do is just have the integral. And so these two values are going to be our upper and lower, or lower and upper bounds. So x equals minus 1 is our lower bound, so here. So minus 1. Our upper bound is going to be 1, so here. And we're trying to find the area uh, where I'm drawing. And so in order to do that, what we need to do is take the integral. And usually you do f of x minus g of x. And so f of x in this case is going to be the function whose uh, line is above the other one on your graph, or that's greater over this interval. And so in this case, we can see it's going to be uh, the red line, right, which is e to the x. So we want to put e to the x to represent f of x. And then g of x is going to be your function that's below. So in this case, it's the blue one, which is x squared minus 1. So what we're going to do is do e to the x minus, because e to the x is our top one, and then our bottom one is x squared minus 1. So make sure you put it in parentheses when you're doing it. And so now we just have this integral, and all we got to do is basically solve. So what we can do is simplify this. So we're minusing, right? So we minus the x squared, and then this minus, uh, we're minusing minus 1, so it's going to become plus. So we can just rewrite this as e to the x minus x squared plus 1. And so now we got to find the antiderivative and then test it from the upper and lower bounds. So the antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x. The antiderivative of minus x squared is going to be minus 1 third x cubed. And then the antiderivative of 1 is just 1x, or just x, right? And then so we're testing it uh, from 1 to minus 1. So what we got to do is plug in 1. We're going to get a value minus and then whatever minus 1 plugged in is. Just solving like any other integral. So let's plug in 1. So I'm going to do that right here. So if we plug in 1, it's going to be e to the 1 minus 1 over 3 times 1 cubed, which is just 1 cubed is just 1 times 1 over 3 is just 1 over 3, and then plus 1. And then so we can make this 1 to be 3 over 3, right? Simplify it. And then what we're going to do is combine our minus 1 over 3 and our 3 over 3. So minus 1 over 3 plus 3 over 3 is just 2 over 3. So we have e to the 1 plus 2 over 3. That's what happens when we plug in 1. So what we do is e to the 1 plus 2 over 3. And then we minus whatever minus 1 plugged in is. So let's plug in minus 1. So it's e to the minus 1 minus 1 over 3 uh, times minus 1 cubed. And then we plug in minus 1. So minus 1 cubed is just minus 1. So we have e to the minus 1. Uh, minus 1 times minus 1 over 3 is just 1 over 3, and then minus 1. We can rewrite minus 1 as minus 3 over 3. And so 1 over 3 minus 3 over 3 is minus 2 over 3. So we have e to the minus 1 uh, minus 2 over 3. And then so we got to plug that in here because we're subtracting. So e to the minus 1 minus 2 over 3. And so we're going to have to expand this, right? So make the minus sign go on each of these. So it's become e to the 1, which is just e, plus 2 over 3. And then minus, and then e to the minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over e, right? Just the exponent rule. So minus 1 over e. And then we minus uh, the minus 2 over 3, which will make it plus. So plus 2 over 3. And then we're going to combine our 2 over 3 and 2 over 3, which should give us e. Uh, minus 1 over e, and then plus 4 over 3. Because 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is 4 over 3. And so this right here is going to be the area between these two curves and the answer to this question.